Hey guys, happy Friday. It's the weekend. I just thought I would put myself together and get going for the day. I just have some errands to run outside. So it's raining today. It's a rainy, gloomy day today. So wig it is. So while I was getting ready, I thought maybe I could come and um, do a little life update for you guys because I find that there's certain topics that I get asked for an update on often. So I thought I could go from like most asked about to least asked about. Let me first start by saying health wise, I'm fine. I'm healthy. I'm good. Feel good. Good spirits. All that stuff. I did take a break in the end of September. Like I stopped uploading for um, majority of the month and then a lot of you were concerned and like came and asked me if I was okay on Instagram which I super appreciate so I just want to start off by saying it was not health related like that's one thing that I'm so grateful for because I feel like it's a privilege right that's one of the ways in which I walk through life privileged is in a healthy body and especially in the current times we're living in like living through a pandemic a financial crisis able to do that with your health intact is like it's a blessing I'm so grateful but yeah to answer all of those private DMs and emails I got I'm healthy I'm fine I'm feeling great so yeah okay so let's talk about the number one area of my life that I get asked for that I get asked for an update on and whenever you guys ask me about this area of my life I feel so like I'm my heart is touched you know because it is literally the most important part of my life currently can you guys see the little rug rat or nah or nah or nah there she is oh my goodness a Marley update let me wake her up actually all right here's my baby that you guys ask about often so Marley is doing good Marley is going to be 16 next month I've always said that I wanted to throw a sweet 16 party for her. But in hindsight, I don't think it's going to actually happen this year. Um, I just don't think a lot of my crew is going to be available this year, unfortunately. So it might just be me and Marley on our lonesome out to dinner. Toronto does have some paw cafes and dog friendly areas. So it might be me and my girl out to dinner. I think that would be really cute. She does not actually like leaving the house, but it's sweet 16. You know what I mean? So... I'm thinking, you know, I can slap a little cute skirt over her diaper and we can go out and hit the town. <laughs> I'm actually so looking forward to it. I hope the weather is good for us and treats us well so that we can get out the house. But being as she's 16, she does have some health issues as a senior. She does have canine cognitive disorder, a.k.a. doggy dementia. And specifically, she has sundowners, meaning that her symptoms are more prevalent at night. Um, we have been managing it with CBD, um, some CBD treats, and um, it does help her sleep so she can get some sleep at night, right, Mar? So, and I've also been incorporating some blue light therapy. I heard that the blue light helps with cognition and cognitive dysfunction, so I've been... You guys remember my sunset lamp that I bought? I actually bought it for my own mental health because the medium tone orange just looks like a sunset. Obviously, it's beautiful and makes me feel really good. But I can change colors. So I will change it to blue at night for her um, to help soothe her as well. Let's see what else. Her kidneys are still functioning. I would say they're in very, very early stage of failure maybe. So we have switched up her diet. She's on a low protein diet with added supplements. And I make sure that she gets a lot of hydration, a lot of water and hydration in her food as well. So yeah, we're just managing the complications that have been coming up. She does have limited eyesight as well as hard of hearing as well. So she got a lot going on, girl. And um, so with the limited eyes, she can still see, but it's pretty limited. So no more stairs are in her future. Um, I now carry her up and down all stairs all the time. And that's how we're managing that. The hearing, the hard of hearing, um, I'm not really doing anything to manage that per se um i haven't found that it's affecting her day-to-day -day life really she's still doing fine i'm gonna go back to sleep hopefully she doesn't fall you guys have seen her fall a couple times please hold so because of the dementia and the kidney failure i think those two combined are what's causing her incontinence and so to manage that she's in diapers she does wear diapers for pretty much half of the day she wears them overnight 
Um, she doesn't have any on right now, as you guys can see. So she's not in diapers 100% of the time. But I'm very glad that I found um, doggy diapers as an option to help manage her incontinence because it saved my floors. You guys know I have hardwood floors on my main floor. So it's definitely saved my floors and it allows her to have more freedom, independence, mobility. So it's just, it's been a great find for both of us. Aside from that, she is still happy and healthy. She still eats really well. She still plays. She doesn't play with toys, but she still plays when we come in um, from going out, especially when her best friend Half gets home. She still gets the zoomies. Her senior zoomies are adorable. She has quite a bit of energy for an old girl. Um, she still sleeps fine. She sleeps throughout the day a lot. Yeah, she is just, uh, she's just old. So the second area I get asked about a lot is... When am I going to do the big chop? Which I'm so shocked that I get asked so much about this because I feel like I've addressed it so many times. Um, I feel like I've only brought up getting a big chop once, but I've brought up not getting a big chop multiple times, but I still get asked about getting a big chop. When am I going to get a big chop? So the answer is, I don't know. And if I do, I'll tell y'all. But I literally brought up getting a big chop in 2019. The summer of 2019, my hair was falling out in clumps due to stress and it looked terrible and I was like I'm just gonna cut off my hair um, since then as you guys know my hair and life have been thriving and so I no longer am focused on getting a big chop I've said that multiple times but people are still asking me about the big chop so if I get a big chop at any point in the future it no longer will be related to you know the stress induced hair loss however if I do decide to do it on a random I will let you guys know, but as of now, it's not in my immediate plans. The next area I get asked a lot about is staging. Am I still doing staging? And the answer is no. I actually really enjoyed that little glimpse into the real estate world. I'm glad that I experienced it because it showed me that I could. It showed me that I have options out there. And it really introduced me specifically into my love for decor so decor specifically the staging part of it the heavy labor and early mornings and heavy lifting I don't love that aspect of it what I specifically love is decor and so I'm looking into working on decor specifically um, outside of staging um, but I am no longer doing it actively I still do maybe some design work from time to time for people who ask but I'm not actually staging um, houses for sale currently Speaking of decor, I also get asked about my home. You guys know when I moved in here, I immediately started renovating and buying a lot of furniture. I started from scratch three years ago when I moved in. So there was a lot going on, like a lot of changes really quickly. And so I get asked if I'm done, like am I done redecorating? Am I done renovating? And the answer is no. Everything literally takes time. You know, I feel like with this age of Instagram and TikTok and these quick transitions we've been brainwashed into thinking everything happens overnight in the blink of an eye but that's just not the case you know there's a lot going on in life and plus money like I'm not rich so you know it's all about budgeting and timing and everything like that but there's a lot that I want to do it's all up here and eventually of course I hope to realize it all and share it with you guys and um it's just going to be a little bit at a time at what I want to call a normal pace and not an influencer pace if that makes sense the next thing I do think I want to work on is either my front foyer I refinished my stairs last year so I'm looking to um finally decorate the front well I can't even call it a foyer because my house is tiny I would say entryway yeah, I definitely want to add some decor to my entryway. And I also want to add or change a few things in my kitchen. So those two areas will probably be the next things I work on. Um, everything in due time. The next thing I get asked about is, how's the family? How's Mama Daily? How's Papa Daily? How's everybody? And I'm so blessed and happy to tell you guys that the family is great. Um, Mama Daily is doing good. You guys see her pop in from time to time. She's doing well. She is always staying active. She's very active in the church. She's very active in keeping a home. She's married. She has, I can't even count how many grandchildren, but she has, there's six of us, six children. She has multiple grandchildren. She has multiple great-grandchildren. So 
yeah, she's busy. She stays busy. She's active, happy, and healthy. Papa Daly is also doing well. Uh, Papa Daly has never been one for the camera, so you guys don't really see him as often. He also recently finished his redoing his back patio slash deck, which I went to check out, and it looks great. Um, my sisters are all doing well. My niece, my housemates, you guys ask about my housemates. Half, you can follow her on Instagram at hair by half. And Keisha, you can follow her on Instagram at Keeping Up With Keish. They're both doing well, healthy, thriving, and um, yeah, we're blessed. I would say probably the last area I get asked about is travel. Do I have any vacations planned? You guys have not seen your girl on vacation in a minute. I never got my Stella got her groove back moment. Um, I kept that <laughs> local in Toronto, you know what I mean? I did get it. I did find it, but... It just wasn't on a tropical beach. Unfortunately, I don't have any immediate plans of travel. Um, I do hope that 2024 will bring some travel into my life, but nothing set in stone, nothing planned, nothing concrete. Just um, we'll see what life brings at me. And the last thing, this is not something that I get asked about, but it is something you guys have been commenting on on the last few videos, and it is my sound. So unfortunately, my camera slash cameras have both been acting up. Right now, this should sound okay because I'm using a different camera, but when you guys see me out and about with my vlogging camera, uh, I think there's an issue with the internal mic. I tried attaching an external one, but um, it still sounds pretty crappy, so I don't know if it's just something that's wrong with the camera in general. You know, yes, I've gone through all the settings and the audio enhancements and all that, and it just... It just happened overnight. I've hit up a lot of repair shops, but it seems like most camera repairs focus on the lens and visuals and they don't repair like mic issues, unfortunately. With that being said, um, I'm so sorry to say this, but I think it's just something we are going to have to deal with until I get a new camera. So I don't know. I'm going to have to save and budget in for a new camera. It's not something that was on the to-do list this year. So all I can do is apologize for the sound and just ask you to hang in there until I get a new one. Marley has gone back to sleep. She's snoozing. So I'm going to put a diaper on her while I leave the house. Go ship. Maybe stop at the grocery store. Not sure what we're doing for dinner tonight and also pick up some drinks because it's Friday. Hey, 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 hey. I want to send a special shout out because I received, actually I didn't receive this. You guys, Marley received her first little package in the P.O. box. So let's open her love mail. We take a moment and just appreciate curlsandcanines.com. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at the branding on that. I love it so much. So let me just open them up and see what she got. Here is a little message that we got. You can find them at Curls and Canines on Instagram. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Are you an insane person? Marley, you should see these bandanas you got. Marley, girl, come over here. She's asleep, girl. But listen, listen, I have some camel pants. I'm planning on taking her out for her birthday, so I'm going to have to get a matching fit. Just adorable. This one is like, it says Paris, and it's got the Eiffel Tower. It's got some pink in there, which I love. And then this one, we got the little Burberry kind of inspired prints. Oh my god, these two are definitely my favorite. So shout out to curlsandcanines.com. Thank you so much. You guys will probably also see this in an upcoming Support Assista haul, but I just wanted to show you guys because it just came in. And it's the first package specifically for Marley, and like I just love that for her. You got head back, you got bandanas. Come look at them. Look, this is from curlsandcanines.com. You got the Burberry one for your baby shower. Your baby father can wear this one. Which one you want to wear tonight? Camel with your name on it or Material Girl? Marley, come. Oh, you look so cute. Oh my goodness.
I just got back from the grocery store. I went to the Middle Eastern grocery store because um, they don't sell pork products there because it's um, they're all Muslim. So it's a really good place to go when I'm craving bacon or ham related because they have a lot of, you know, pork alternative products. So I got this pepperoni pizza. The pepperonis are actually a mix of beef and chicken and they're just seasoned to kind of like give the pepperoni vibe. I've had it before and it's really good. So, um, yeah, that's why I got it. That's why I went. But I got some extra stuff to add to it because I just want to make it like more, more juicy. I got two of them. So I got some spinach to add on top. And some tomatoes. And some extra mozzarella. It's going to be good. Okay, so we're going to put tomatoes, right? Tomats. And we're going to put spinach. And we're going to put more cheese on top. This is literally going to be so amazing. I'm going to drop a piece of mozzarella. You'd like to find it. Now this chicken, um, half got on sale today for 40% off. So I'm going to season that for tomorrow. Yeah, 40% off. I don't know why it's 40% off because it's not like the expiry date is coming up. October 30th. Today is the, I don't know. 20th, I think. Anyways, I'm about to wash this and season it up. Okay, so I finished cleaning, cutting this up, and seasoning it. I just put salt, pepper, cayenne, chili, paprika, and some onions and peppers. So it's going to be like a spicy roasted chicken. I'll throw this in the oven tomorrow after letting it marinate all night. And then just make a nice rice with it. A rice dish. And that will be dinner tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow and show you how it turns out, of course. Um... I don't really think anything else is happening for the night, guys. I know it's Saturday night. And um, I should be out partying it up. But alas, I'm a homebody. So I'm going to watch some Sex in the City and uh, chill out. <laughs>